Hey, what's up neighbors? Double A Flare here, bringing you another Destiny video. Today's video, we're going to be going over Zer's stock for week 51, I'm pretty sure. So we're, it's almost been a year. Year, two, uh, year two's almost here. Thank God, Taken King is almost here. It's September 5th right now. Zer came September 4th. But let's see what he's got. For the Titans, he's got the Helm of the Saint-14. This is probably one of the best Titan exotics there are for PvE. Or pretty much for Defender Titans, just because it enables Ward of Dawn to blind enemies who enter it, which is extremely useful in any scenario where you have your bubble, so you are 100% protected inside the bubble. Next, for the Hunters, they have Kepri Sting, a pretty good uh, exotic pair of gauntlets, made the blade dancer i'm like i mean it could go for the gunslinger but i feel like it's way made way more for the uh blade dancer especially letting you go invisible and having hungry blade at the same time uh so i mean i pick them i pick up the helm of the saint and kepri sting also obsidian mine which you're going to get to next so the obsidian mine is a warlock exotic that is confirmed to be coming with us in year two so I recommend picking it up because it's only going to get better, uh, and it's really good as it is. Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb, allowing you to have infinite no infinite Nova Bombs if there is a giant horde of enemies continuously coming at you. So pick up the three armor pieces if you haven't gotten them yet because they are some of the best exotic armors in the game. Next, the weapon of the week is Patience and Time, a exotic sniper rifle that uh, allows you to go invisible. Actually, I think it, it's got two exotic perks kind of for a sniper. So the first one is letting the radar stay active while aiming down the sights. No other sniper has this. And you also gain active camouflage while aiming down sights, which means you turn invisible while aiming. Uh, it can be useful in PvE. PvP, uh, I mean, it's a good sniper, but the invisibility thing is kind of useless since you have the red sniper glint thing uh, when people look at you. So... I mean, it's a good sniper, but it's not amazing. So pick it up if you like it. It could be coming with us in year two. We don't know. Uh, so yeah, pick it up if you don't have it. and Or don't. I mean, it doesn't matter. Next, you got exotic shards for seven strange coins and exotic helm and gram for 23 modes of light. We also have auto rifle telemetry, sniper rifle telemetry, and rocket launcher telemetry, along with the plasma drive, emerald coil, and five heavy ammo synth of one strange coin and we have motes of light for two strange coins is that is Zer's stock for week 51 September 4th to 5th this is the before last Zer of year one next week will be the last time we ever see Zer for year one we're almost there boys I think it's like nine days to take a king I am hyped I don't know about you guys, but if you guys are hyped, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future Destiny content. My name is AA Flare. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.